code until 1 p.m. tomorrow. Local time. That's right, yeah, man, that's 6 p.m. Australia. Does anyone have a first question? In the front, in the green? George, uh, slightly disappointed with the with the bowling attack first because uh, there was a lot of full tosses and a lot of inaccurate bowling. Uh, not as disappointed with the bowling as the fielding. Um, you know, I thought I, I wasn't too disappointed with the bowling. Always things you can improve. Uh, I think they were two for 40 after about seven, which is a really good start for us. So certainly things to improve on, but um, but n not not too disappointed. Yeah. What sort of did uh, go wrong? I suppose. It's It was shoddy for the standard that we set ourselves. It's something we spoke about that we thought in this tournament could be a point of difference. It's something that we've done very well in the last few games, uh, and it just wasn't uh, it wasn't to the standard that we set ourselves tonight. Yeah. Were you more, more disappointed with the fielding or not ability to finish off a game where you needed 74 off 60 odd balls? Oh, both. I mean, yeah, disappointed to lose the game. Absolutely. So I, I think um, oh, in equal measures. It's a disappointment of, of losing, but um, but I guess in terms of the bigger picture, I'm not I'm not disappointed in terms of um, you know the, I think to get us ourselves into a position where we needed 70 of 60 shows a lot of promise. You know, two outstanding innings from from Maxi and Finchie, so that's really really good for us. Uh, but absolutely, from there, you'd like to think you can finish it off. Uh, what, what can you say about uh, Maxi and, and the way he batted? It was kind of electric. Um you know, sixes everywhere. It really looked like that was that was the, the style of cricket that he plays. Isn't yeah, it? as journalists, I think you can have some fun making up some words and using some some words there. It was it was outstanding. Yeah, you know, we um, that's exactly why he's batting in that position for us. We know he's got the power, and we know he's got that sort of the, that shot making. Um, I can probably say that because he's sitting here. But you know, but it was a, I thought it was a mature innings too. I thought he, he picked gaps at times as well. Um, you know, he, he went up and down in momentum as 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 was required. With the sort of rapid-fire nature of the tournament now, and you, you've lost the first game, it, it, do you look at... It's probably a must-win every game from here. You're probably going to have to win... Well, the chances are you're probably going to have to win a trio of, of games from here. Do, do you, is that how you see it, or...? Oh, most probably. I mean, yeah, I think you start these tournaments with that mentality that, you, that winning everything may be able to lose one. Uh, that's 190-plus, you can see it in the last two games, including the warm-up against the Kiwis. Um, is that concerning for you as well? No, not at all. No, I mean, I think it was, I think it was slightly more than, than what I would have liked them to have got today, but uh, but not not a great deal of correlation between the two. Well, George, when two wickets fell in the very first over, what were, what was your message towards the other batsmen in the batting line? Uh, no message. They've, they've played a lot of cricket before, and uh, they're pretty clear in, in their plans and and their own individual plans. So, uh, once again, you know, just an outstanding fight back from, from Maxi and Finchie, I think, to get us back into the game, to, to lose uh, two of our most destructive batters within the first over, and uh, for those guys to be able to rebuild uh, and get the momentum back in, in our way, um, and, and, and as Joe mentioned, maybe get the game to, uh, sorry, I mentioned to get the, to the game to a stage where we should have won, um, was, was outstanding. So I thought they summed it up really well. Uh, do you think that uh, you could have sent Brad Hodge ahead of yourself because when Maxwell got out, like the momentum got lost, nine or four of nine balls. Yeah, we could have done. Uh, <coughs> George, after uh, Maxwell got out, well, was it a question of uh, Pakistan really upping their bowling, or what, what happened towards the last six, seven overs of the chase? Uh, uh, just a shift in momentum. You know, I think. Um, you know, well, I certainly found it pretty hard to get going, um, whether to take that risk and knowing that they had probably, uh, as most teams do, they probably had five or six overs from their best bowlers left in you know, Afridi, Ajmal and Gul, who all bowled very well. George, traditionally we've been batting first all the time ever since that India tour, seven match one day series, even the one day series back home. What's changed of Australia's principle of chasing now rather than having that uh, philosophy of always batting first. I'm not sure we've ever had that philosophy in in T20, or um, and it probably changed a little bit in that one-day series as well. Um, 
I think if you look at the statistics from this ground and what's happened in the tournament, it, it gets a little easier to bat on as the night progresses. Uh, we hadn't played at this ground before. We thought it looked like it had a little bit of bounce in it. And, and as I said, I think to, to have them two for 40 after seven, that's, that probably vindicated that in terms of where we'd like to be. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't think we necessarily have a have a, a way that we like to do it. It's more summing up the situation, summing up the conditions, depending where you are. Um, Pakistan went in with four off spinners, and obviously um, Saeed Ajmal had a massive influence, in, at the, especially at the back end. His last over, his last spell uh, was fairly crucial. Is that likely to... Well, firstly, how, how do you think uh, Australia can improve playing spin? And secondly, is that likely to change your uh, team approach, possibly bringing in extra spinners? Uh, I thought we played them OK. You know, I think he went at, at uh, what, eight, eight and a half, 33 or something. I thought, um, as far as the best spin bowler in the world goes, I thought we played him quite nicely. Um, he doesn't get that. I don't think he gets that title lightly. He's earned it. He's a very, very good bowler. Um, Shahid Afridi is a very, very good bowler. They've earned that, those reputations over a very long time. So, um, you know, I think spin will play a part in this tournament, as we've said all along. I think it'll probably play more of a part as the tournament goes on. It actually didn't spin much tonight. It was probably balls that, that didn't spin as much as the ones that did that, that caused the trouble. But, um, you know, we'll keep working on it and, and keep trying to get better. But I don't necessarily think we played it badly. Last one, up the back, George, what was the idea to get uh, Finch to ball that one over? Uh, left armour, spinning it away from right-handers. <laughs>